Hi everyone, you shouldn't be able to see me because I'm sat in my car away from home but it is a road that cars do come down, well I'm not parked on a road but if a car approaches I will be putting my hand over the camera just to make sure you definitely don't see me. On my way to driving here I passed something that reminded me of a story that I was going to tell in one of my videos so I will tell it now because I really need a distraction so about two weeks ago maybe three but let's go for two I was walking my dog it was like something like one in the morning and my dog hates cats more than the average dog we will be walking it or I'll be walking it and she'll be constantly looking on the cars for cats. So she's like literally looking for a fight, which obviously she'll come out worse of. And it's a little bit of a nightmare. You'll be walking along, you should be ducking down and like trying to pull you near a car so she can look. So I was on my way home. I'd done like the first 60% of the walk. So I still had a bit of, quite a bit of the walk left and there was two cats on the pavement and I couldn't cross because of the traffic even though it was one in the morning there's quite a lot of traffic so I'm guessing it was a Saturday night and one of the cats moved and went under a car but this other cat didn't it literally sat in the middle of the path and it was a big fat ginger cat which for the purposes of the story when I was telling my dad I named Garfield because it was a fat ginger cat so Garfield sat there and my dog Cleo saw this cat and she was literally like I'm gonna go to that cat I hate cats and she was trying to drag me to this bloody cat and this cat just stood its ground and I'm like this is brilliant normally I'd walk around it or cross the road but it was there was quite a lot of traffic for one in the morning so it definitely was a weekend because Friday, Saturday night especially it is quite heavy traffic heavy traffic wise so literally I was like I don't know what the hell to do like I really wanted to like walk her into the road to walk away from the cat but I just literally had no choice so I just did not know what to do. So I was like watching the traffic and watching this cat and watching my dog and she likes to do this thing where she spins me around and apparently she does it to my dad as well because she's so strong she just literally spins us round in, in circles. So she spun me around a couple of times I'm thinking this is brilliant I can't even cross the bloody road because of the traffic and I managed to like get like a two second gap in traffic enough for me to walk out into the road enough to get round the cat but obviously as I get past the cat the dogs there are trying to turn round to go back to the cat and the cat's turned round and it's standing its ground I'm thinking this is just brilliant like you know all the way up the road she was just constantly trying to turn around and get to the cat she just did not care and it's a nightmare trying to walk a dog that's constantly wanting to go the opposite way and do whatever they can to get to the cat it was a little bit of a nightmare. Then I think I told my dad the story the next day. And when I went out the next night with her, we was on the way back again. And it worked Garfield again. But <laughs> got on the street. Um, not long on the street. Walked around the corner. There's a cat. So I'm like, great, a cat. Hope she doesn't see the cat. She saw it, but I don't think she realised it was a cat. She just saw something move. So I'm like trying to walk away from it. So then I get a bit further around the road. There's another cat. I'm like, why are all the cats out tonight? Normally like they run off or hide or don't bother. So a little bit further on, there's another cat. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Normally I might see one cat and it rushes off normally. So I don't know why these cats are suddenly there so I walk on a little bit further and no joke there was a fourth cat and I'm there like 
is there some kind of cat committee meeting going on here? Like, is it a cat committee? Oh, let's let's like meet up and like decide what we're going to do to Cleo or something like that. And this fourth cat literally was on one side of the road and then crossed over to my side of the road and got under a van. So as I was walking past this under the van, the dog knew it was under the van. The dog was trying to get under the bloody van. I'm like, it's like some kind of cat conspiracy by this point. So I managed to get past the van, even though she's making this big song and dance about it, trying to get back to the cat, trying to pull me like an idiot. And just past the van, there was another cat. So then I'm definitely convinced there's a cat conspiracy cat committee meeting going on. I'm like, bloody hell, it's a bloody cat obstacle course here tonight. Never known anything like it. And... She sees this cat and just luckily I saw it first and I got a good grip on her because she just yanked me so hard I hurt my shoulders and obviously the cat just stood its ground but it weren't too close luckily but all the way past she's there trying to get to it and like going crazy she does this thing where she pushes into your legs to like get power which hurts and I'm just like what the hell is with all these cats? Like, did it hear about the standoff with Cat Garfield the other night? And they're like, we'll get that cat, that dog. And, like, I was glad to actually get home. I was knackered, like, trying to stop her from getting to all those cats. It was just crazy. And the reason I remembered about the story, because I was going to tell it in a video, but obviously I'm not going to be on camera because I don't particularly want to be on camera. But the reason I remembered it is because on the way here I got stuck at some traffic lights and I just glanced to the right of me and I'm nowhere near home for the record and I just saw this ginger, big fat ginger cat and it can't be the one from where near I live because it's probably like four or five miles to my house where I was when I spotted this cat. But I was like, it just reminded me but the night when there was all those cats on my street I was just like, what is going on here? But my dog and cat is, cats are just, it's ridiculous. One of my exes had cats and I used to take my dog to his house and the cats tried to make friends with her because they were used to dogs but she did not want to know and she wanted to fight with them basically. So I just thought I'd tell that story because I needed a little bit of a distraction and I have obviously come here to record some videos because A, I don't want to be at home because... It was nice and quiet and my dad came in drunk and he put his telly on full blast. I asked him to turn it down, he said he was going to bed and an hour later he hadn't done. So I was like, I can't cope with this noise, it's too much for me, so I've, I've come out. And I've come out with, for the purpose of actually doing a few videos. Because I started to do videos last night and I started to film a second one. And I got so exhausted, I was actually falling asleep so I stopped filming it. So I'm probably going to have to re film that video now so I've come up here to film that and maybe a couple more but when I saw the cats it just reminded me and I thought if I distract myself and bore people on my YouTube channel I would just tell the cat story so I'm going to leave that here and then film at least one more video um I did want to film more but it depends on how tired I get